Hello and welcome to another video. So the day has finally come. Literally no one asks for this, but I'm making it anyway because I've always wanted to do so. And today I am finally tier ranking every single Percy Jackson character. Uh, yes, that's a lot of characters because I'm pretty sure in the tier ranker I'm going to use we have Scripture from Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Heroes of Olympus, probably Magnus Chase, maybe the King Chronicles, and definitely the Trials of Apollo. So that's a lot of characters. Disclaimer, this is 100% subjective. It's all basically my opinion, the characters I like most because I just like a certain kind of character and I like their story. So basically this is my opinion. You can have your opinion. Please let me know down below who's your favorite and who's your least favorite. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get ranking. Okay, so let's start by looking at the tiers that I created. First we have God tier, which is obviously the best tier. Then Demigod tier, which is very close to God tier, but just didn't make it. And then Quest Worthy, and that means that I would go on a quest with them because we're on good terms, but you know, they're not like Demigod tier, but, but they're okay, I would hang out with them. And then we have just met the people who are just like either irrelevant or I dislike, but not enough to be in the last tier, which is go to Tartarus, which are the people and the characters that I definitely dislike, do not want to have anything to do with them. Like every time they appear in the book, I just want to pull my hair out and I really want them to go to Tartarus because I just hate them that much, or at least dislike them that much. So now that we've gone over their tiers, uh, let's, let's start ranking them, shall we? Okay, first of all, we have our girl Samira. I'm pretty sure she's there looking beautiful. And Samira, I wish we'd gotten to know her more and I wish her character was fresher in my mind because I haven't read uh, Magnus Chase in quite a long time. I think I've only read each book once. So that's, n like, that's not a lot for me because this, the Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus, I've read at least three times the Heroes of Olympus and I've definitely read this like five times. So, I, she, mm. I'm going to put her in quest worthy. I might regret that later and put her in demigod tier, but for now she's in quest worthy because I love her character, but I just don't remember loving her as much. So next we have Ethan Nakamura, and I'm really torn for this one because I really like what his character represents and the arc that he had and all the development he went through and he was a very important part to the story because without him like things wouldn't have turned out the way they did but uh, unfortunately I don't know if I would personally want to go on a quest with him and if we would be friends so I'm going to put him in just meh only because he doesn't deserve to be in the same tier as Samira so I'm really conflicted maybe I should have added another tier but it's too late now so then we have Annabeth Chase, okay. Uh, apparently it's an unpopular opinion, but I'll put her on God tier because I really like Annabeth. I apparently really relate to her, which I hadn't uh, figured out until lately that I've been thinking about it. Like, I'm very stubborn. I consider myself to be a daughter of Athena and I am extremely proud. So, so we can connect a lot and that's why I feel like I like her more than most people. And then we have the Stoll Brothers, which it's kind of insulting. I feel like they deserve like their own bubble, so they have their own characters. But I'll put them in quest worthy. They would be demigod tier if we got to know more about them. But we don't, so they're there. Maybe I should put Samira in demigod tier. I I'll think about it. Then we have Rachel Elizabeth there. And if you've been on my channel for a hot second, you know that I've had... Uh, a difficult past with Rachel Elizabeth there aka Red and that's basically because I was I wouldn't say toxic fan but I was a 12 year old when I first read the books so I got really mad at Rachel because she got in the way of my OTP man and that that wasn't cool um, but honestly she's just a person who had a crush on Percy while Percy was extremely single so she did nothing wrong and she's a good character so I'm gonna put her in quest worthy. I might have to read the books like one more time in this mature mindset for her to be in demigod tier, but for now she's still only quest worthy, which isn't bad. Next we have who I'm pretty sure is Apollo or Lester Papadopoulos, is, was that his surname? And I'm going to put him in demigod tier? Not Apollo from Percy Jackson and the Olympians, 
but Lester, uh, I really did end up liking him in The Trials of Apollo, and having him be such an interesting character and someone who had so many sides to his personality, someone who was so three-dimensional and entertaining, I think is what made me keep reading The Trials of Apollo because of some books I just thought they weren't just like up to the level that Rick Riordan was writing books, so his character and his point of view is kind of what made me push through them, so I'm really thankful for him. He's just like such an interesting point of view. And then we have, uh, I was gonna say Jason, but I'm pretty sure this guy is Octavian. Yes, Octavian. So as far as I know, there's only one person uh, from my subscribers that likes Octavian, so shout out to you. But I personally don't, so he can go to Tartarus. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like most of the fandom will agree with me. I don't like Octavian, so he's going to Tartarus. There we go, no, no more explanation needed. And then we have another controversial one, which is great, and that is Calypso. So there are two Calypsos in my mind. There is the Calypso that uh, kept Percy from Annabeth, but I've moved on from those feelings. It wasn't her fault, obviously. And then there's the Calypso um, who, uh, she didn't make Leo come back for her instead of going back to his friends and telling them he was alive, but he still did that. I'm, this might just be me being salty at Leo. So for now, I'm going to go in just meh. I really wish I liked her more because I don't want to be like, oh, she's like tearing up relationships. It's literally not her fault. It's the guy's fault. But for now, she goes in just meh. I think seeing like a book, a standalone written from her perspective and what's happening now that she's in like the mortal world would be really cool and would do a lot for uh, to make people like her character more. So I think that would be really interesting. Then we have Leo Valdez, and if I'd made this video five years ago, when did The Blood of Olympus come out? Uh, he would have been God tier, but I feel like I can't put him there anymore because I'm just too salty still. Yes, it is 2021, and yes, I am still super salty about what Leo Valdez did to us in Blood of Olympus. He goes in demigod tier, which is sad for me because he was my favorite character uh, from, the, uh, from the new characters in Heroes of Olympus, but sometimes it's just the way it is. He betrayed me, so there we go. Then we have Meg, and this might be an unpopular opinion, but Meg goes in just meh. I was never a fan of her character. She did seem a bit annoying and, to me and sometimes a bit overpowered, but I mean, I can't blame her for that because Percy's probably overpowered as well, but I just like him a lot better. So she goes in there. I think she's fine. Um, wouldn't want to go on a quest with her because she's kind of annoying to me. It's completely fine if you like her. It's just she's not my cup of tea. And then we have Talia who goes into demigod tier. No, she deserves to go into god tier because I feel like demigod tier. Okay, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna put Apollo in quest worthy because I don't. I don't think I like him that much. And I'm gonna put Samira in demigod here, so there we go. Talia, I love her, she deserves the world. And then we have Tyson, who obviously goes in demigod tier. I love him, he's such a cutie and a sweetheart, and that's it. Okay, so now we have Blitzen, who I like, but I don't know if I like him enough to be in demigod tier? I wish there was a tier between demigod tier and quest worthy, but for now, I like him but he's not my favorite. And then we have Joe from the Charles of Apollo, not gonna lie, I had to look her up. So I'm going to go in just meh, simply because I didn't remember her and I couldn't recognize her, so I don't feel like it would be okay to put her anywhere but there. And then we have Hearthstone, who I'm also gonna put in Questworthy. So Questworthies are the characters that I'm like, yeah, I like you, but whatever they do doesn't have the same impact that people from demigod tier or guard tier have on me, so that's why. Hello, and sorry for this little intermission, but the video turned out to be way longer than I expected, which literally comes as a surprise to no one because that's literally what happens every time I start talking about Percy Jackson. I just like ramble on for at least 30 minutes. So this is going to be a two-parter, so stay tuned for part two. Please leave a like if you like this part and comment 
who is your favorite character and who is your least favorite Percy Jackson character. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet and click the bell button so you get notifications every time I post. And I'm gonna post part two very soon, so stay tuned for that. And I guess I'll see you guys next time in part two. Bye!